Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list today. As always, if we see new kanji in this list today, we're going to go over its readings, its meanings, and how to remember it based on the radicals that make up the kanji. And if we see new words but they're made of kanji we already know, we're going to write them down three to five times and go over their readings and meanings, and hopefully come up with a way that the two kanji come together to make the new word. <clears throat> If you don't want to listen to me write stuff and read stuff as I write it out loud, head on over to YouTube and you can skip ahead of the explanations. If you just if you just want these word lists, head on over to uh, Google Drive. Our first word of the day here is osore iru. Osore iru. Osore on the left side is for fear, and iru on the right side is to put into or to enter into. So osore iru is to put some fear into. Um, it's an intransitive verb. Um, meaning to be sorry or to beg one's pardon. But the way I read it is, you know, put some humility, put some fear in. Um, he has put some fear into himself, if you will. He is sorry or begs pardon. He is grateful, he is amazed, or he is embarrassed. Osore iru. Ano ko wa taihen osore itte iru. He is terribly sorry. Osore iru. To be sorry, embarrassed. Or to beg pardon. Osoreiru. To be sorry, embarrassed, or grateful. Osoreiru. Number two is shinshutsu. Shin on the left side for advancing and shutsu on the right side for leaving or exiting. Shinshutsu is therefore advancing into or advancing out um, of your normal sphere of uh, comfortability. Shinshutsu is to advance into new territory, expand into something else, launch into, or to emerge. Shinshutsu is progressing forward by exiting your current sphere. Shinshutsu desu. Shinshutsu. 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 Advance out into. Shinshutsu. Explore new territory, venture out into new territory, and such like that. Number three is Kaibatsu. Kai on the left side for the sea, and Batsu on the right side for leaving or exiting. So Kai Batsu literally means height above sea level, or how far out of the sea are you? Kai Batsu literally translates to out of the sea. Literal actual translation is height above sea level. Kai Batsu is height above sea level. Kai Batsu is. Kaibatsu is height above sea level, or how far out of the sea have you risen? Number four is niku rui. Niku on the left side is meat, and rui on the right side is kind of, or sort of, or type of. So niku rui is types of meat, or kinds of meat. Niku rui. Niku rui is types or kinds of meat. Niku rui is types or kinds of meat. Nikurui is types or kinds of meat. Nikurui is types or kinds of meat. Nikurui. Nikurui. Types or kinds of meat. 
Number five is tōshō. Tō on the left side for appropriate and sometimes is kind of an automative uh, this or this thing that I'm referencing. And shō on the right side for at the begin for the beginning of something. So tōshō means literally at the beginning or at the time of the beginning. At the beginning, uh, if used as an adverb, or it can be just the beginning or start if used as a noun. Tōshō is the beginning, outset, or at the beginning, at the time of the beginning. Tōshō. Tōshō is the beginning or at the beginning. Tōshō. Both a noun and an adverb. Tōshō. Tōshō at the beginning or the beginning. Number six is gino. Gi on the left side for kind of technique or skill, and no on the right side for ability or skill. So this is two kind of words that mean skill, but together it kind of means, literal translation is very close to technical skill, your skill ability. Uh, gino is technical skill or ability with two kanji that pretty much just mean skill. Gino is your skill or ability. Gino this. Gino. Gi jutsu is kind of engineering or science and engineering. So gi no to me uh, translates pretty uh, almost exactly to technical ability. Gi no is technical skill or ability. Gi no this. Gi no. is technical skill or ability. Number seven is kai bo. Kai on the left side for to release or to untie or to solve. And bo on the right side is our new kanji for division with the radicals for spitting out on the left side and a sword on the right side. This is pretty easy because a sword spits out or creates divisions of things. Bo is to divide with spitting out Sword spits out divisions. Bowl is to divide. Kaibo. Kaibo is therefore um, to kind of untie or unravel by division, which means dissection or autopsy or analysis. You know, kind of metaphorical sense analysis in a more, more very real way, dissection or autopsy. Kaibo. Kaibo no. Is division or divide sword spitting out divisions of things? Kaibo no Kaibo no Bo. Together with Kai on the right side, we have Kaibo. or unraveling of things by division in a dissection or in a analysis. Number eight is kyōgi. Kyō on the left side for cooperation and gi on the right side for a conference or a meeting, um, a discussion, if you will. So a kyōgi is a cooperative discussion or a conference, a consultation, a discussion, or a negotiation. Kyōgi is a conference Discussion or negotiation. Yogi. Yogi. A conference, negotiation, consultation or discussion. Kyogi. Let's just try and remember conference, negotiation for now. Kyogi. It's cooperative. Meeting or discussion, kyōgi. Kyōgi desu. Kyōgi. Cooperative discussion, 
more conference. Dual geek. Number nine is QG. Q on the left side for a salary, and G on the right side for taking care of, taking care of, or serving. So, getting a, pay, being paid a service or being paid a wage for service is waiting on a table or the waiter or waitress themselves. This is another one where QG suru is our verb for waiting on a table, and it can also be used as a noun for the waiter or waitress or page or office boy girl themselves. QG is a waiter, waitress, or office boy or girl, depending on who's new in the office, and G on the right side for serving. Getting... A salary by means of serving is a waiter or waitress or waiting at a table. QG. 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 Getting paid a salary or being a service or QG. The waiter, waitress, or waiting on a table. Number 10 is... Ko Let me double check that that's not just a noun and not a pseudo noun. Yeah, that's a pseudo noun. Waiting on a table. Next up, we have koron. Ko on the left side for talking or a mouth. Um, in this case, we're talking about verbal. This is the verbal in verbal dispute. And ron on the right side for a dispute or an argument or discourse, like a think scientific discourse here. So koron is a verbal argument or verbal dispute. A quarrel argument or verbal dispute is a koron. Koron <clears throat> is a verbal dispute, argument, or discussion. Koron desu is a verbal dispute. Koron is a verbal dispute or argument. Koron. Number 11 is tose. To on the left side for controlling or overall, and se on the right side for regulating or also controlling or system or a system of law, if you will. So tose is overall regulation or overall ruling, meaning regulation and control. This is kind of two words that two kanji that both mean control or governing. So tose. Is regulation or control? 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 Tose desu. Tose desu. And finally, number 12 is gen sen. Gen on the left side for strict or kind of stubborn or think of strict like in a very much parental way like um strict i that's actually a perfect word for it i can't think of another one at the moment and send on the right side is selection so a strict selection is careful selection or careful screening gen sen think a hard trial that you have to get through or a difficult selection process a gen sen is careful or strict selection gen sen desu Gensen. Careful or strict selection. Gensen. Careful or strict selection.
Dancing. Dancing. Sin is careful or strict selection. Now we've made some nice little divots in our brain where all these memorizations are going to go. Make sure that you go back and make some flashcards and study Japanese in whatever way you feel most comfortable. As long as you're not on a deadline, then study it in the way that gets you the passing grade. <coughs> read, read some books, watch some Japanese, do, do your thing. Our first word of the day was to be sorry or to beg pardon, to be embarrassed or to be amazed with osore ire. Our intransitive verb for being embarrassed or being sorry or grateful. To put some fear into your actions. Osore iru is to be embarrassed, sorry, or grateful. Next we have advancing into new territory with shin shutsu, meaning literally to advance by leaving your current zone of comfort. Height above sea level is kai. Kaibatsu. Kaibatsu desu. Kai on the left side for the sea or ocean and batsu on the right side. Kaibatsu is how far out, how far exited out of the sea level are you? Kaibatsu. Kinds of meat is an easy one with niku on the left side for meat and rui on the right side for kinds of. Niku rui. These kinds or types of meat. At the beginning at first, or the beginning itself, both a noun and an adverb, is tōshō. Tō on the left side, kind of for this, and shō on the right side for the beginning. Technical bill or skillity. Wow. Technical skill or ability <laughs> is uh, gino, gi on the left side. For skill and ability, and no on the right side for ability. You know your technical skill or ability. A dissection, autopsy, or analysis of something is an unraveling by division. It can also mean analysis, meaning a kai on the left side for unraveling or solving, and bo on the right side, kai bo is unraveling a mystery by dissection or division. Next we have a conference, a consultation, or a negotiation with a kyogi. Kyo on the left side for cooperative and gi on the right side. For a talk conference, a kyogi, a conference or a negotiation. Waiting on a table or the waiter, waitress, or page waiting on the table himself is um kyuji q on the left side for a wage earned by service g on the right side <coughs> quarrel argument or a verbal dispute which is the pretty literal translation is a koron ko on the left side for mouth and ron on the right side for a discussion or again a talk it's really an ar more argument, sorry. Uh, next we have regulation or control with tose. To on the left side for ruling or government or overall. And say on the left on the right side, sorry, for a law, regulation, or system. Tose is regulation or control. And finally, a careful selection or a strict selection of something is gensen. Gen on the left side. For strict and sen on the right side for selection. In sen. Careful selection is a pretty literal translation. Thanks for watching tonight, everybody. I hope you had a good Thursday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo. Arigatou gozaimashita.